What's up, sweet people? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Kai. Now, if it's your first time here, it's probably because you saw the title down below and you're wondering how has it been so far in my business management endeavorments? <laughs> Today, I'm going to answer that question. And if you are wondering whether to invest in a business management program, hopefully this will give you a good clue on whether you should do that or not. Now, just a disclaimer every school is different and i'm only talking based on the one that i go to the professor that i have and of course the people that i'm surrounded with so don't just go based on what i have to say definitely do your own research and figure out exactly what your school requires and i definitely advise that you do a tour of that school and that it fits your needs and that you feel comfortable there now just for the main fact that i didn't get actual permission to use the institution's name i won't really be name dropping certain uh, professors names or the name of the school if i do get permission i definitely will let you guys know what school i'm talking about and maybe you'll be even interested in going there yourself all right guys let's get into the pros one of the biggest things i love specifically about this program is that it is a smaller class now i can't promise that your class is going to be a smaller class for my class it is we literally have less than five people in the class now with the school that i go to they have this program because based on demographics and the need in our community they know that we need more business management. The same program that I went to go do the sonography program doesn't have a need for it in my city. And this is basically because they don't really have a need for sonographers. Does this guarantee me a job in my city right after college? No, that's not what I'm saying. Especially if you don't want to be working as a manager in a certain area, in a small town. Maybe you're going to school just so that you can manage your own business just like I'm doing. My next pro can also be a con for some people. It all really just depends. Night classes. I personally like night classes. It took me a while to like night classes. With my busy schedule, night classes have been really working for me. Now, some people might not prefer night classes, but unfortunately with the school that I go to, they only offer evening classes for the management program. But maybe another school might offer different times. Okay, so this is gonna be my last pro. One thing about the management program is that you don't really get a lot of hands-on experience, which I'll talk about during my cons, which I personally think it is. One thing that I think is really great that my professor at least does is that he allows us to role play the situation that's going on. For example, last semester I was in a selling class. So what my professor did was allow us as the students to sell something to the class. We did it one-on-one, -on -one, trying to sell to each other, and then I, for example, had to go in front of the class and pitch my product or services to my classmates. This allowed us to get a more realistic view of what we can expect if we ever decide to be sales managers. But not everyone is going into that field. So depending on the class, of course, there's other type of role play that you would perform to try to get that more hands-on, realistic experience. Of course, if you're working in an establishment where you can shadow a manager or even become a manager, you're going to get a lot of hands-on experience that way. Going along with what you're learning at school, it's definitely going to help you become a better manager. My biggest con is the fact that we still had to go to class during COVID. Now in the beginning, it was 100% online, but as time moved on and people started to relax, the schools decided that it's okay for the students to come back, which is fine. Everyone has their own opinion, but it wasn't really an option. You couldn't just say, well, I don't feel comfortable coming in, so I just rather do everything online. No, you had to come in. Now I'm not saying all schools have this requirement. Some schools may allow you to choose whether you want to do online or dual enrollment, but because I didn't have this option, that was definitely a con for me. Now, just for specs, I'm going to go over a few technical things that you should know when you're going into the business management program. So right now with the winter term, if I start back in January, then I won't finish till March. 
This is pretty typical in most schools, unless you're in an accelerated program. And I would recommend taking about two to three classes, probably three to four at max. I would feel more comfortable around three because these classes can get pretty heavy. So let me just list off a few classes that you may expect to find in your program as well. You have financial accounting one and two, business law, spreadsheets application, which is basically just learning Excel. If you already know Excel, you're gonna be great at it. Interpersonal communications, microeconomics, principle of microeconomics, entrepreneurship, business ethics, business management, foundations of leadership, sales force management, human resource management, marketing, foundation of selling, career development, and college success. Now, I know what you're thinking about the last one, Especially if you already been in college, why do I need college success? I thought the same thing. But honestly, it's a really good class. It was almost like a big pep talk, reminding you of your study habits and strategies, how you learn, what to expect, and of course to stay enthusiastic through the whole entire process and to never give up. The classes that I just named off are core requirements of the management program. Now I'm sure no matter what school you go to, you're still going to need your math, your English, your sociology as Jed Ed courses. But I don't want to get into that too much because each school is different. Now, like I said, in the beginning, all our courses was online, but that didn't mean that our books were. We had the option of having both online and text. And this isn't with all the textbooks. Some of the textbooks, you just get the hard copy. Well, this was just a little glimpse. I hope this gives you a better idea of what the management program is all about. Of course, as I progress with the management program, I'll let you guys know a lot more about it. Please comment down below if you have any questions, if there's something that you didn't understand or something that I missed that you wanted an answer to. I can definitely get it for you, even if I don't know, because I'm going back to school really soon. Thank you for being wonderful and beautiful people. I'll see you guys in the next video.